Hey guys, we're here to see who this person is that is in your energy that you're thinking about and that's thinking about you. Okay, okay. All right, guys. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, ooh, not good. Feeling hurt and disappointed. You guys just, I feel like you want to like get away. Like you want to escape from something. Um, hmm. If you're interested in a personal, please check out pinkarianjim.com and um, select the reading that is best for you there. Okay. You're having a hard time coming together. Having a hard time making a decision, a decision about something here. I feel like Libra energy is definitely um, at play here. Could be your energy. Could be the other person's energy. But um, definitely on the fence about some issues in your relationship or connection. Okay. Who is this person? Look at that. Just had to come up again. Could be Libra. Could also be Pisces here. I feel like High Priestess. I feel like this is somebody who you really want to take a break from. Um, you just don't want to think about this shit because I think it just really is disappointing to you every time, you know, you really give your thoughts to this situation. It's exhausting. And I think you're just ready to like, just dip. I feel like you're over a situation here. You're over this person. I feel like they go through bouts of like ignoring you um, and just doing things on their own without like conversing with you. This is an issue that you've had with this person time and time again. They just like do random stuff and not even like reach out to you and see how you feel about it even. <clears throat> Three of Pentacles there. Yeah, they, this person, Capricorn energy, I feel like this person is wanting to um, definitely work with you. I, I get that you guys don't, you're not hearing this shit though, because I think this is something that they have like said to you time and time again that they're going to work on themselves um they see where you're coming from you know virgo let's let's do this let's try this one more time and then you end up trying it one more time and it ends up being the same thing a disappointment to you your feelings get hurt you start believing in this person and then you're disappointed okay but i get that they really do you know, sincerely want to compromise and work with you guys here. It may be too late though. That tower energy, Scorpio energy. I feel like there's something unstable about this person. This person has a tendency to lose their um, shit as well. But this is somebody I feel like they mean well but they fall back into their same like low vibrational energy time and time again and i think you're exhausted from it hmm. then the five of pentacles hurt rejected feeling like this person You, a lot of you guys want to leave, but I feel like in leaving is going to put you in a horrible situation. Some of you live with this person and you want to leave, but you're really giving this a lot of thought. You're really trying to figure out you know, exactly what is best for you at this point, because I think it's going to put you in a bad situation financially. And that's probably the main reason why a lot of you are staying in the situation or go back to the situation. Some of you have already left, but you are thinking about going back because of finances here. 
And then you have the sun energy under the high priestess. I feel like a lot of you guys know you will be happier away from this person. But financially, it's going to put you in a, in a horrible situation. But I feel like that's only temporary. Um... And I'm feeling it so very strongly that a lot of you guys really do want to leave this situation because you're not happy. You know, you would be much happier not with this person and staying away from this person. You know you would, but you're not saying anything about it. Because I think that you guys like kind of need each other for some reason. Like there's a codependent situation here. Leo energy. And then we have justice here. This person wants to do what's right. They really do. They really do. I feel like this person struggles to do the right thing though. And it's easy for them to revert back to like the same old shit, the same old ways to lose their shit, to, you know, just go the hell off on you for no reason or to do some random stupid bullshit that, um, you know, you guys have an issue with. And then when they do it, it's like, damn, I shouldn't have done that. This is this is the person that I feel like you're dealing with here. They have good intentions. But what are good intentions with no follow through, you know? <clears throat> Strong Libra energy in your reading. Then we have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, this person goes the hell off. Um, they will flip the script on your ass so quick. They may be nice one minute and then the next minute they're chewing you out. Okay. Um, very like lose their shit very easily say some hurtful shit and then take it back oh i'm sorry i didn't mean it hmm what does this person really want with virgo knight of cups we all know the knight of cups <laughs> can be in love with love if you're doing what they want they love you to death. But if you're not doing what they want, they could almost act like they hate your fucking guts. You know? Scorpio energy. Mm-hmm. I feel like this person wants to win you over is what they want. They want to love you. Right now, they're in that moment where they want to just love all over you. Okay? And then we have the emperor here. Damn. Because the emperor is basically just the freaking opposite. Just the opposite of the knight of cups. The emperor, you wouldn't even know how they felt about you. They love you, but I feel like when they're like this angry little shit, you feel like they can't stand you. They're not doing anything to try to make you feel otherwise in this emperor energy. I do feel like though, when they're serious like this, they're, they're really trying to show you that they can be mature. They're really trying to show you that they can talk things out. They can try to work things out. They can do what's right. But I think it comes across as, um, what is the word? Shit. As cold. Um, as non-caring. Matter of fact. I think they do want to show you that they can be serious and they can be about their business and they can do what's right. 
But I think they need to be careful because, you know, you guys can read it like the wrong way as calculating. Because this right here looks calculating. You know, kind of manipulative. <clears throat> Aries energy there with that emperor. And then the page of wands. Hmm. They want to show you that they can be a good listener. That they can hear you out. That they don't have to always like, you know, react or overreact in a situation. That they can hear your point of view. And then give you a response instead of giving you this like angry reaction. I feel like this person wants to show you that they have changed. Hmm. Eight of Cups here. I feel like this is definitely you guys over here. Um, basically turning away from them. Wanting to like uh, leave because you're not happy. I feel like you're you're beaten down. You've been disappointed way too many times. I feel like you are like you're at your breaking point. Or well, you've reached your breaking point already. Um, even though some of you guys are still there, I feel like some of you are actually choosing to leave. Even though you know it's going to be hard on you um, financially. Some of you are just like trying to get a game plan together, I feel. Yeah. Okay, Piscean energy there. All right, guys, so that's what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.